Thanks. Well, the movies, of course, hype them up, but there is continuing debate as to whether spirits or ghosts are living among us. Well, ahead of Halloween, we asked some station employees about the other side. And after hearing some of their stories, we decided to investigate our own Fox 4 basement. Prepare for anything. All right, we're going to find out about this, this, this place here, WDAF Television, built way back in the day in 1949. We are joined by Stephanie and Jan. They are with Casey Paranormal Group. So let's go inside here and find out what's going to show up here on their instruments. Come on, let's go. Come in here. Stephanie's in here. All right, you guys are carrying a lot of equipment. Jan, what do you got here? I actually have an EMF detector, which is able to uh, measure the milligauss or the electrical energy in the air. Okay. I have my infrared camera, which is able to see in an invisible spectrum of light. Okay. And my digital voice recorder. All right, Stephanie, what do you have here? I have an infrared camera and a digital recorder, and then a Canon, regular, a regular uh, digital camera. Okay, all right. Let's continue on here and see if we're going to pick up anything on the instruments. What was that? You just heard something? I heard a man say something while we were walking through as we rounded this corner here. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what he said, though. Okay. Said. Should we set the spirit box up here, you think? Definitely. I think we should do that right away. Go ahead and switch it on right here. As you can see, it's on the AM frequency right there. And we're going to start scanning backwards. That'll further validate if we have anything going on. Unplug the phone. Let's be, turn on the speaker now. Make sure the volume is up all the way. Oh, we already got something already. I thought I heard a man right there. If there's anyone right here, could you say one of our names? Could you say Stephanie or Jan? Just to let us know that we are talk, talking to a spirit. That was a yes. yes. Yeah. That was a I definitely response. heard something when you when you first turned it on. Yes, yeah. That I think that was uh, the spirit actually saying Stephanie's name. Okay. Are you sensing something? Are you oh, feeling something? I do feel that he's here with us right now. Um, he did talk as we were walking oh. through. I think. Yeah, I think I heard something like you. You just said you with a very pronounced voice. A lot of times with the spirit. Yeah. A lot of times with the spirit box, did it take him a while to figure out how to use it? They have to kind of like look it over and figure out what, what this is. And then once they start talking, a lot of times they'll just keep talking and we can ask them questions. Before we leave you, we have one special secret tunnel to show you. Come along. This is the secret tunnel. Let's go in. Stephanie, you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you oh, I just heard a voice. I did too. Did you hear that? I did. It was coming from over there. I did. Who's in here with us right now? Did you used to work here? We just heard you talk. This is really some scary stuff. <laughs> well, Jan yep. and Stephanie continue to take readings and look for more paranormal activity. I think there's one thing we've learned for sure, and that there are definitely spirits here at Fox 4. Happy Halloween. Something weird. I love Nick. Stephanie, you first. Because I'm too scared to go. <laughs> Kansas City Paranormal Group does tours, big events. They do investigations at people's homes. Uh, if you think your house is haunted, you can learn more at KansasCityParanormal.com. And the team is actually doing a paranormal investigation on Friday out at the Elms in Excelsior Springs. You can head to the Elms website for tickets. And you guys came into the studio.